Oh, no, 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 no. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Hello. This is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. Great. I think that will be better for today, okay? So, start the class. Remember, the first five minutes are yours, all yours. Say hello. Hello. Hi, Alan, how's it going? Hello. Okay. I heard Alexander said hello to Alan. Is Alan here? Yes, I'm here, but I'm a little bit, um, I'm not sure if we are already started, I don't know what happened. Yes, remember the first five minutes are all yours. You're still missing three minutes. Say hello to your classmates, say hello to someone, have a conversation before we start the class. Hey, great. Nice, this a great idea. It could um, share all the experience and all day. Okay. Okay. Fernando, how was your weekend? It was fine. Uh, I I rest uh, all the, the Saturday. I I I I went to play soccer yesterday, and we lose, but it was a great game. <laughs> and I went to the supermarket and I I watched some some soccer match matches. And that's it all. That that was my my speaker. What about you? What did you do? Well, in my case, actually, I spent time with my family. You know, uh, Friday was payday, ah, and, yes. and Saturday, <laughs> I I went to the mall with, and actually, I was trying to to go to to soccer match but i couldn't because i i i don't feel well uh -huh. yet um still because um you know i i was sick two two weeks ago mm. basically sunday i i spend my time Watching my favorite anime. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You like that was. I like some well, some anime series too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is is. It's fun. It's interesting, for me, and you can, you can learn sometimes as well. Yes. Uh, how can I say, for example, in Spanish, we we said ya cayó la rata, but in but in English, how, how do you say that? Yeah, <laughs> the rat has fallen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back. It's eight oh five. Thank you for having a conversation. This is your opportunity. Prepare for tomorrow. Wonder, wonder what questions am I going to make on the class? Hmm. 
what questions am I going to make on the class? Who am I going to ask these questions? I'm going to ask Adam. I'm going to ask William. <laughs> okay, challenge your classmates. You are here to speak. Never forget that. Okay, so let's get this started. I'm going to do the attendance really quick. Uh, Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Quien se queda hoy 10 minutos después de la clase, please. Ok. okay. <ríe> Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Say present, present right here, guys. Thank you, José Antonio. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. All right, so Carla here, but no. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Perfect. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. And yet. Okay, let's see. So we have 12, 13 students. Yep. Perfect. We're 13. Okay. So where were we? Do you remember? How to achieve a better agreement with complex subjects. The first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. My recommendation, continue practicing that topic, okay? In the professional world, in the professional world, you're really going to use that topic, okay? Maybe not in a daily basis, but yeah, sometimes you do. Okay, so, I have a question for you. What have you been doing to improve your life? In every sense, en cada aspecto de tu vida, ¿qué has estado haciendo para mejorar tu vida? No te sientas mal, eh? Pero, ok, ahorita salí corriendo, tuve una clase hasta las 7 y 40 y ahí salí corriendo, tenía que ir a la tienda y regresar en 10 minutos y mientras venía subiendo esa cuesta mientras se me trababa la cadera porque padezco de la asiática como siempre me pasa con esa cuestecita desde la casa siempre ando pensando en mi programa y lo que estoy trabajando y me dije ¿qué se necesita para hablar inglés? o sea ¿por qué es tan difícil? ¿sabes qué pasa? que no te has puesto a pensar que necesitas disciplina antes que nada pero para agarrar disciplina tenés que hacer una cosa bien clave que nadie te ha dicho y te va a dar risa quererte a ti mismo, y vas a decir, pero yo me quiero a mí mismo, si yo por eso estoy acá aprendiendo inglés seguro o sea, quiero que analices, yo me empecé a analizar a mí mismo, como siempre hago, y les hablo desde mi experiencia, ok si me quisiera realmente no hubiese subido de peso hace rato um, habría sido fácil dejar de fumar, me costó y hey, todavía de vez en cuando recaigo en ese problema, y así tantos vicios y problemas que tengo encima entonces eso me denota que no me quiero por completo. ¿Y por qué querer ser sí mismo es importante? Si estás aprendiendo tu idioma, ¿y por qué me está hablando de este de esto? Porque quiero que entendas que si realmente querés cambiar tu vida, esta es una buena ventaja, esto es una buena, un buen inicio. No importa la edad que tengas. Aprendes inglés, mira, se te va la oportunidad que tenés de padecer Alzheimer y que me corrijas a la doctora. ¿Sí? Tenés dos idiomas en tu cabeza, estás practicando dos cosas con tu cerebro. Ya, 
o sea, eh, hay un montón de ventajas, pero la principal es tu bolsillo. ¿Sí? 2016, leía un libro y decía el libro, solo una cosa tenés que hacer en la vida. Solo una cosa. Tenés que encontrar la tuya, no te la voy a decir. En mi caso, estaba que, que me quería divorciar, que no sé qué, que con los tres hipotecas encima. Solo una cosa tenía que hacer para ser feliz. Y descubrí que lo único que tenía que hacer era trabajar. Todo lo demás vino por añadidura. Y aprendí a dedicarles tiempo de calidad. Aprendí a, a que, pues, hay deudas, más trabajo. Y puntos. Y no hay de otra. ¿Ok? Y entender eso. Eso es madurar y entender que solo una cosa tenés que hacer para que todo lo demás eh, concuerde, para que todo lo más encaje. ¿Ya? Eso es lo difícil del ser humano. Si tenés partido el corazón y la mente entre tantas personas que te rodean, tu familia, tus responsabilidades. Entonces, volviendo al punto, te querés a ti mismo, entendés eso. Entonces te vas a disciplinar. Vas a entender que tenés que hacer lo que tenés que hacer cuando lo tenés que hacer, aunque no lo quieras hacer. ¿Y qué es eso? Te ofrecen un plato de pupusas, cinco pupusas bien grasositas, pero te has comprometido contigo mismo a rebajar. Entonces, no. ¿Okay? te has comprometido a aprender inglés y es tu hora que te has programado para estudiar y empezás a, a procrastinar a postergar la hora de estudio que viene el agua, tengo que entrar la ropa no he lavado ropa en toda la semana tengo que lavar ropa ya no ganas de ir al baño, te que dar cuenta ya son las 11 de la noche y no hiciste nada ¿Sí? entonces analiza esto ¿Sí? ¿qué has estado haciendo para mejorar tu vida? suena algo profunda la pregunta. Ok, let's try to answer it in English. Ok, I have been, I have been on a diet. I have been working extra hours to pay an, ad an additional English course. I have been practicing my English because I know one day this is going to be very productive for me. Ok, it's going to be very advantageous. Um, I have been exercising during the last four months. Okay, and currently I'm doing this, this, and that. So present perfect. That's part of this uh, module. So let's try to do it. Okay. No es regaño, señores. No es regaño. Es un llamado de atención. Desperta, desperta. Estás acá para hablar inglés. Estás acá para salir adelante y pasar de 300 o 400 hasta 1250, 2000 dólares. Un compañero mío en esta quincena sacó 2000 dólares en el porque había horas extra. Eso sí, trabajó durante tres días seguidos, no se desconectó de la computadora. Parecerá loco, pero el tipo tenía una necesidad, tenía una hija, una hija enferma. ¿Qué tal eso? Ah, sí, horas extra. Y dijeron, miren, el que saque más horas extra se gana un televisor de 32 pulgadas o un Nintendo Switch, él elige. Aparte del dinero que se ganó, se ganó la Switch. Ahí está jugando, tranquilo, pago lo que tenía. What do you think? <laughs> That's awesome, right? Suena mentira, pero yo me fui de espalda cuando vi ese Paisley porque me lo indució. Me dijo, mira. Wow. Okay. So it is possible, guys. Let's try to speak. Let's try it. Give it a try. Okay. Get the question. What have you been doing to improve your life? Okay. Try to answer it. Let's go. Again, teacher. Yep. I I don't I don't enter the in in the in the in a comfort com, uh, in a room. No. Sorry. Oh oh, you didn't get the message. You didn't click. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give, give me a minute. I'll I'll take you to a group. Okay. Okay. What have you been doing? Hey, Johnny. Okay, your microphone, guys. Your microphone. Check your audio. Check your audio. Johnny, can you hear? No? 
We cannot hear you. Adita, can you hear us? Can you speak? Yes, teacher. Okay, Sandra can yes. speak too. Okay, go ahead, girls. Okay. Johnny, try to fix that. The question is what well, what have been doing? What have you been doing to improve your life? What have you been doing to improve your to life? Improve, to improve your life. Mm -hmm. It's amor. <laughs> ¿Qué has estado um, para mejorar tu vida? What have you been doing mm -hmm. to improve your life? Working, working, working. <laughs> Okay, I have been. I have, I have been, been working, style English, studying style, English, studying English, uh -huh. um, studying medicine, investigation, new books. I have been reading, reading books. Awesome. A lot of mm -hmm. reading books, uh, reading uh, novels. <gasps> I I my life uh, I am like on I love reading the books. Um, I watch TV. My my favorite series, Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds, really? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. I. So you have I, been you have been entertaining yourself. Yes. Okay. I, my favorite. Uh, I dismiss disminuir. I have reduced. I I have reduced the drink coffee. I have reduced oh. drinking coffee. Wow. Yes. I I, I after the um, ten ten years ten ten. ten. Ten cups. Ten cups every a, day. A day. Ten, after ten cups a day. Uh huh. Yes, I am a. a I have a this. ¿Cómo me dijo teacher? Disminución. I have reduced. I have reduced a one cup. One cup a day. Yes, teacher. Wow. It's wow. a. <laughs> I drink like five every yeah. day. It's a lot of coffee. Awesome, Ada. awesome, very good. Okay, Sandrita, what about you? What have you been doing? Okay, I work in, in virtual platform uh, for the students and the teacher. Uh, okay, so let's repeat, I have been working Okay, I have been working on a virtual platform. In a virtual platform for the, the students and the teachers. For the for the student and the teacher, and reduce la soda. <laughs> I have reduced Coca soda. Okay. Coca Cola. The addiction. Uh huh. Um, spy. Reduce el spy. Um. Wait, wait, the, 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 the spicy, uh, spicy, the spicy food? Spicy, spicy ah, food. Uh -huh. and, and flowers, flowers, arenas. Good. And flowers and mm -hmm. uh, salt. Salty food, food salty food. food. Um, um, walking? Working, uh, working. I'm trying. <laughs> Good. <laughs> trying to uh, study the class, the English class. Uh, I be working the platform, the like homework, mm -hmm. the platform. Uh, That's it. That's it. <laughs> very good. You're trying. Very good. What about you, Johnny? Talk, talk. Talk. Now? Yeah. Okay. What is your... 
I've been reading. I like reading. Mm -hmm. I like reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I want to learn English in one of my dreams. But I would like to participate in English. Mm. Creo que te, tienes un falso con los auriculares. Sí, 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 te entendemos, pero se corta. Pero se corta. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Still not. Okay, try to fix that. Try to fix that so we can okay. continue. Okay, you see, you can do it. It's very simple. Okay. Let me go back. Let's go back. That was short. Okay, okay. Good. You see, you can speak in present perfect, right? That was simple. Okay. Someone was saying, I have, <laughs> I have reduced, I love that word. Now that I heard, I have reduced some addictions. I have reduced drinking coffee, drinking Coke. Okay. I have increased, I have increased my studying hours. I have increased my walking time. Okay. I have reduced eating greasy food, salty food. Very good, okay. Anybody, another example? What have you reduced in reality? <laughs> My paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, but sometimes it's good to reduce your paycheck, okay? A veces algunos investments, algunas inversiones son necesarias, como que incrementes tu velocidad de internet porque se está en un curso de inglés, por ejemplo. Ya, a mí me pasó, yo para trabajar desde casa tuve que pasarme a un plan más caro, con claro, pero era necesario. Tuve que cambiar la computadora, era necesario. Ok, so, sometimes that's what it takes, sacrifices, and there we go. Ok, guys, today we're going to continue with where we left. If you remember, we were talking about testing a product, right? So today you're going to remember the product that you designed with your group we, so we can continue working on that. And the main goal of this session is for you to identify different uh, types of tests. Okay, and research methods. Okay, research methods. So when you launch a product, when you want to launch a product, you develop the product, but to develop the product, you have to conduct a study. You have to look at other examples that may be on the market already, right? If you're launching a similar product, um, my wife just bought a, a soap, a black soap for the face. And I, I just noticed it has carbon, okay? It has coal, I'm sorry, it has coal, carbon, coal. And I was like a soap with coal and I tried it and all my face was black. <laughs> so I was like, wow, okay, that's weird. So someone had the idea of using coal on a soap. Why? What do you think about that? Have you heard, have you heard that coal has some properties? What properties are there in coal, guys? I have never heard. Never heard? No. Chinese? Me neither. You neither? You either. Really? Nobody? No? I have here just about, uh, how do you say, arcilla, crinos or arcilla. You understand me, crinos yeah, yeah, arcilla. Yeah. And 
and the the same the green and your face at totally black, but it's really well, really really nice. Really, it's clay. Really useful. clay. I did and was. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And it worked. Clay. Hey, okay. Mm -hmm. Clay. Okay, Chinese, Japanese have been using coal for many, many years to purify their water, to purify their rivers. So they put coal to filter the water. They put coal on rice. When they boil the rice, they put a piece of coal inside the rice. That's crazy but it's very healthy actually so somebody had the great idea of putting soap to clean your face and it works it works really well okay so in this in this country it is useful like uh, to draw to dry sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to draw on the street to draw on the walls okay uh -uh. not bad not good okay so what you're doing is comparing products in the market so if you wear, if you wear to lounge a new product, soap, a new soap product, you can look at other examples. In El Salvador, and by the way, in El Salvador, um, it's becoming a trend to become an entrepreneur. So if you can easily become an entrepreneur with a new product in El Salvador. Okay. Let's talk about the Chiva wallet. Okay, what product? would you invent, would you create related to that market? Mm. Come on, think, surprise me. Huh? Hey. The shirt. Shirts. Hot. Hats, caps, right? Publicity. Everybody's buying publicity related to Bitcoin, to the government, All right? So that will be an idea. Okay, so get, get the first thoughts. So the first, the first point of the class is to prepare with some vocabulary. And this is on your page 19. You have the definitions on this side, okay? And you have the vocabulary and disorder. The type of tests or research methods are on the left and the, their definition are on the right. So sight and handling test. What is sight? Vision. Vision, your eyes, right? Very good. What's handling? Managing. Managing something with your hands, handling, okay? Very good. Handling, so sight and handling test. Think about it, you used your eyes, you used your hands. Use, the use test, mm hmm What will it be, okay? Branded test, branded. Necesito que vayan entendiendo que uh, puedes de descomponer las palabras porque al igual que en el español muchas palabras en inglés están compuestas okay o están en el participio para dar otro sentido okay branded brand what is brand markup markup very good <laughs> that's right what is blind what is to be blind right blind no, sí. Eyes no closed, see. eyes closed, no see. <laughs> That's right, eyes closed, test. Huh? Can you conduct a test with your eyes closed? Yes, you have other senses. Maybe. You have other senses, okay, that you can use. Monadic test, monadic method. It's a method, monadic method. Hmm. It sounds very complicated, but it's so simple. So you need to find the definitions, okay? Sequential method, sequential monadic method. They are related and they're very similar. 
pair comparison test. Paired comparison test. And I say paired. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this once so you can have an idea of some pronunciations, okay? And let me know if you want to, re to hear the repetition of any word or the meaning of a new word. Consumers use or cite and handle one product. Then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. In real circumstances, they use a product, cite it, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. And rate it later. Hmm. Consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they will usually use it in their own home. Number four, consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Consumers use a product, cite it and handle it, then grade it. Then they use, cite, handle another product and grade it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. They don't compare them among each other. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile, tactile, tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. And the last one, products are tested unbranded, no brand on the product. So the consumer focuses, focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Very interesting. Okay, so wow. You have to read each concept and think as a team. Hey, you know what? That sounds like a use test. Mm, that sounds like a blind test. Mm, this is easy. Blind test, I just mentioned it. So in groups, you need to determine what's the definition for each one of the tests or research methods. Okay, got it? Got it. Okay. Got it. okay, let's try it, guys. I know you're amazing. You can do it. Let's go. Johnny, Miriam, let's go. We speak with Fernando in, yeah. the, in the last thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. S site and handling test. Okay. What is this? Ah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. What is the number one? Okay. Consumers use or sign and handle, handle one product and another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Uh, okay. I think first. The first, the first is compared, compared, compared comparisons test. Yeah. Because say, it asks to indicate which two, which the two they prefer. Sí, mi amor. Vaya, me molestar. Veo las anotaciones. Uy, hijo. Aquí están. Sí, está papi. That is 
seven. Yeah. And next, <coughs> consumer consumers Mayus use the product in real um, circumstance. 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 They circumstance. use. They use. They use a product signed. Signing. 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 And let and rate it later. Rate it later. I, I think I don't know. I I think I think that is mon monetic method. Monetic method. Yes. Method. Yes. yes. Because they is consumer use the product in real circumstance, and the Perfect. meaning the monetic I I search in Google and say that is one or you unique. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't say it's, it's correct. It's unique. 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 With letter C. Unique. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. There you go. Unique. 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 Okay. Consumers take the product to be used either as a as, as sample or for an extended period. They, uh, will... they would usually use it in their own home. Okay. Um, no. Use test, maybe. Use test. Mm. Yes. Because they approve to be used. Either <laughs> at... I think I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 because uh, no, the customer yeah. takes, yeah. Okay, consumers are aware of the brand, they are trying this test better reflex, reflex. real world, reflex, ah, ah, reflex, and, uh, and uh, okay, reflex the real world experience and the value of the brand. Branding test. Branding test, yeah. Mm. Consumers use a product, sign it, and handle it. They rate it, then they use, sign, hand, handle it, another product, and rate it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. Yes. Uh -huh. I think sing, sing and handling test. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This test is a good option when there are a significant tactile or visual elements of the product for cons consumers to experience tactile for, uh, for, for me for me uh, this is uh, a sign and highlight test no sorry no uh, no no is Consumer use the use the product, mm -hmm. use the product in real circumstances. They use a product siding by having in the circumstances they are produced and the handle on the right number. With the next Sandra Lintes. <laughs> Use, okay, use test. Consumer use the product in real circumstances. Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm. Tell me. Number one. Just this, what is the 
Answer. Yes, that's. Is this is this a word? Which one? Food and test and some consumer popular structure on products channel fellows in front private market to be used. Consumer use for video. This this test is a good option when there are are significant tactile or visual element of the product for com consumers this to experience is in Carolina. Blind test number four. Uh -huh. Blind. Uh -huh. Blind. Blind, Blind test. test. Blind test. Yes. This a test group. Blind test. This. Two auction. No. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, this, this test is, is a good option. Mm -hmm. When were they are significant? Number four. Yes. Mona. Spider. What is that word? Mona. To be conscious, estar, estar consciente de algo. Aware. Mm -hmm. Aware. This is the consumer use the program and request, and this is sequential monadic test. You're very close. Very good. Very close, but not, but not all, all okay. Yeah, because you do, yeah. Partly. Yeah, partially. You're partially right. Marge. Kind of made it two, three, and so seven, two, three are all right. Okay, but not number one. This kind of vocabulary is kind of it difficult. It is complex, it is complex, but this will make you think. There are keywords that you need to identify. For example, think about it. Products are tested on branded. So if you don't know the brand, you're walk, walking, uh, walking in the blind. dark. You're walking in the dark, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't create a preconception or whatever you want to call it. You don't. Um, how do you call this? Oh my God! You don't create. Uh, you? How do you? You, you don't tag. You don't tag ahead of time something you don't judge because you you don't have a parameter to judge because there is no brand it's just a bottle uh, exactly right you don't create a stereotypes we're full of stereotypes so you see even, yeah. by, even by the color of the bottle you will go like ah that's a product i know hmm. even mm -hmm. by by the smell you will go this smells like something I know. Okay. Mm. Ah, blind test is about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, brand test. Unbranded. Oh, okay. Four. Mm. 
three branches, three branches. I don't understand the terms, <laughs> but I <laughs> I think I think comparar. Estoy tratando de comparar o encontrar algo lógico en, <laughs> en los términos dichos. De hecho, sí, hay palabras claves que pueden guiarles. Sí. Ese es el punto. ¿eh? Eso está haciendo Alan. <ríe> Yo estoy tratando de encontrar alguna It's not restricted, we can use it. Oh. Ah, okay. Do you think, Claudia? Yeah, oh, what do you think? Yeah, um, I tried to investigate the computer some information about this. Mm -hmm. And for me, give me one moment. <laughs> This is the number three. Tumor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the number three. You had the consumers use the products in real in circumstances is the same number four. Consumers are of 
Either Google doesn't help us because Google is confused too. Give me one minute, please. I'll be right back. In your time. Don't worry. Let's do uh, by one, one by one, okay? Um, for example, for me. Okay, so I, I know this is very complex. A little bit. But you got you got number seven, that's right. That is the pair comparison test. Okay. Let me see what else do you have. What else you matched? Five. Okay, the use test, very good. And the brand test, good. Sequential monadic method. Okay, that's number six. Number one. Okay, <laughs> so you got it backwards. Five is four and four is five. Good job, <laughs> you see? You made it. Yeah. And, and yeah, and you had you had doubts, right? There, there is where you had doubts, very good. Now let's, let's find sense on this. Let's see, uh, seven. Paired comparison test. Consumers use or cite and handle one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Now, do you think do you think this creates uh, preconceptions or assumptions? If you already taste one product and then you try another one. A similar product, mm, you no, will compare it, right? Yeah. As a human being, you will compare it. <laughs> With, it's, right? better. it's unavoidable. That that's normal. It's normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So you got it. Very good. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Take a screenshot before we come back. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, we will have time to discuss this right now. Okay, William and Jocelyn don't want to come back. Okay. 
My goodness. Sorry, guys, I'm just waiting for William and Jocelyn in seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, so before continuing, we're missing four minutes tonight. Let me do the attendance so we don't stop. We don't stop later. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present no. teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespin. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fatima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Isela is not with us today again, okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yaneda Maya Herrera. Hmm. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Welcome. Roberto Luis Umeño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Enrina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Ok, sí, chicos, yo sé que es el vocabulario complejo, pero créanme que hay una... Hay mucho valor agregado en este vocabulario, en eso que estamos viendo. So, let's see. What, based on your judgment, goes first? What's number... What's the first parenthesis? What is the what should be on the first parenthesis? Seven. Seven? Do we all agree? I agree. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. So yeah, that's number seven. Okay. What about number the second parenthesis? Consumers use the product in real circumstances. Number five. Five. Monadic for five. Monadic method. So that's number five? Five. five. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what's the third parenthesis? Two. Two, Two the use test. test. Okay. Okay, the fourth parenthesis? Three. 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 Okay. Three. Number five? One. Okay, this should be number one. Okay. Next. Four. Four. And last. Six. Six. Okay. Let's see. Site and handling test. Consumers use a product, cite it, and handle it. They rate it. Then they use, cite, handle another product and rate it. The consumers does not, hmm, the consumers does not, hmm, the consumers do not rate both products against each other. Okay. No, no it's correct. I feel there is number six. Yeah, this is yeah. incorrect. Yeah. Do not. But the consumer is not consumers. Oh, wait, I'm misreading. Yeah. Thank you. Oops. Thank you. Okay, so wait. Let me see. This is. Huh. Yeah, that sounds more like six, right? Okay. Yeah. Six. It should be number six. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> 
Okay, seven, five, two, three, six, seven, five, two, three, six. Uh huh. Just the last ones are one and four. Okay. Yeah. This is the right order. Okay, seven, yeah, five, yeah. two, yeah. three, six, one, four. Okay. So, sequential monadic test. Okay. Let's start with number one again. So the side and handling test. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product, of the product for consumers to experience. Okay, side and handling test. So what can you test on a product using the side and handling test? You can taste the texture, you can test the texture the smell, the flavor, maybe the flavor. Okay. And the shape, the shape of the product, how it feels when you touch it. Okay. And so many other things. Okay. Number two, use test. Uh, can somebody help me? Who wants to read? Consumers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Consumers take the product to be used either as a sample, some sample or for an extended period as they will usually use it in their own home. In their own home, very good, in their own home. Their own. The use test. So you have to use it to give your opinion. Okay, number three, Miguel Angel. Consumers are aware of the brand. They, they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. The value of the brand. Okay, totally right. Okay, number four, Caro. Line test. Products are test on branded so the consumer Consume, consumer focuses specifically on the product's characteristic, characteristic and not on the brand name. Very good, on the product characteristics and not on the brand name. Okay, very good. That makes sense, right? You're blind, you don't, you don't know what's the brand of the product. Okay, number five, monadic method, Jocelyn. Consumer use the product in real circumstance. They use a product, sign, sign it, hand it, and read it later. Good. Cite it. Cite mm -hmm. it. Cite it. Uh huh. Okay. Cite it. Mm -hmm. Real circumstances. They use the product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. What do you understand? Why do they rate it later and not right away? Hmm. We're going to think about it for a minute, okay? Don't worry. Number six, uh, Sandra Elizabeth, number six, sequential monadic method. Consumers use a product, citing and handle it. They rate it, then they use, cite, handle it, another product, and write it, the consumer, the consumer, does not do not does, does write, not do uh -huh. not do not, sorry, do not does not ah, sorry, does no no not no is that not yeah mm -hmm. okay does not write but product as against each other great both you say both products both, against both products against each other against each other each, each other each other each other, each other. Uh -huh. Each other. Very good. You say against. Against. There you go. Against. Against, against the wind. Bob Seger. Great song. And the last one. Jose Antonio Cuyas, number seven. Con consumers use or sell in handling one product, then another in our ask. To indi indicate which 
Also, the do they prefer. They prefer. Okay, now you were overthinking. Um, let's focus on defining each concept. So I will split you in seven groups. We are 17 right now in the class. So some will be trios, some will be couples. And you need to explain each one of these concepts. It's not difficult, okay? Just find logic, find logic. Let me give you a clue. Uh, les voy a dar una pista y por ahí decía, le decía Alexander, ¿cuál fue la palabra que, que, que no encontré, Alexander? Y después me... Um, es, es difícil um, no crear tus propias concepciones o, o, o prejuicios sobre algo. Le ponía el ejemplo del blind test. Let's see, what is the blind test? Number four. It's the easy. Uh, products are tested unbranded. Les quitas la marca a los productos, los probás. Se supone que el consumer se va a enfocar estrictamente en las características del producto y no en la marca. Supuestamente. Seriously. Thank you. But you have stereotypes. Tenés estereotipos, ya preconcepciones que traes porque has probado diferentes productos de una línea, por ejemplo el shampoo, ¿cuántos shampoos has probado? Aceite de cocina, ¿cuántos aceites de cocina has probado? <risa> ya las sodas, ¿cuántas sodas has probado? Entonces, por mucho que quieras no comparar, no crear un prejuicio a un producto que ya es similar a otros del mercado, es inevitable, right? So, think about it. Quiero que pensés así, o sea, estás probando un producto nuevo. Que está o no está en la línea ya existente de productos. Si es una nueva línea de producto, lógico, ahí sí. No vas a tener un parámetro de comparación. Right? Okay. Les iba a dar un ejemplo. <risa> tener un novio y ya tuviste varios. O tener una novia y ya tuviste varios. Tenés un parámetro en el que comparás siempre. O sea, y es lo mismo. Tenés un amigo... Tener con quién compararlo en tu historia de vida. Lo mismo ocurre con los productos. ¿Ya? Tus experiencias previas te, te generan estereotipos que vas a seguir siempre. So, think about it. Desde la perspectiva de que estás lanzando un producto nuevo. Ocupen el, los productos que crearon la primera vez. So, that's the whole point. So, vamos, los voy a dividir. Ok. Y, uh, bueno, de hecho, puedo hacer esto antes de dividirlos. Vamos a ver. So, oh, did you take a screenshot? No? Let me do it again. And I will send you this as well. So you can take a screenshot so you can see the order. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, got it? I'll send it to your WhatsApp right now as well. So that's the order. I will split you and if you're number one, you'll do number one and so on. Okay. Let's see. We're 17 and we need exactly seven groups. Okay, group number one. So topic number one, Ada, Elvin, and William. You're gonna talk about number one. Fernando, Johnny, and Jose. You have topic number two, Carolina, Rene, and Sandra. You have number three, okay. Miriam and Jocelyn. You have number four, Alexander and Claudia. You have number five, Alan and Miguel. You have number six, and Rina and Roberto. Oh, okay, Roberto cannot participate. So let me move. Hmm. I'll move Johnny to that group so you can work with Rina. Okay, Johnny? Johnny? Okay, I'll move you to group seven, Johnny. Okay, let's go, guys.
Okay, guys, so you're group number seven. Okay. <laughs> group seven. Man, type on the chat. Okay. Ocupa el chat. Okay. Si es necesario que se exprese en español, háganlo. Si no es necesario, pues no, pero es de entender su tema para expresarlo en la clase, ok? Okay. But, but you have understood, ok? Good, let's go. Okay. 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 Sight and handling, right? Yes, sight and handling. Hide and handling. Ok, aunque tengan que hablar en español, pero yo creo que entiendan el tema. O sea, ¿de qué, qué estamos hablando? Porque lo van a explicar en la clase, ¿ok? Ok. How does that work? Very good. You can do it. You can do it. Muy bueno. Ok, group number two. Use test. Use test. Even if you have to explain it in Spanish for yourselves, just do it, but understand okay. what is it, okay? Okay. Sí, eso le estaba diciendo, José. El punto es entender qué es eso, okay? Si es el use test. Definirlo. Tomar el producto para usarlo. Como. Where of the brand they are tied. Is this better effort? The real world experience. And the value of you have the blind brand. test, right? Ah, the no. Brand. Brand. no, you're brand test. Yes, the number three. Number three, okay. thank you. Brand test. Brand test. Ah, mm -hmm. está bien fácil, pero igual si tienen que hablar en español y entender cómo es esto, háganlo, pero que quede claro porque lo van a explicar en la clase, right? So. Pero es que vamos a explicar el concepto. El concepto, ajá, que es el branded test. ¿Cómo se lleva a cabo ese test? Cada ah. una, ajá, eso está. Okay. 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 ok, thank you. Yo soy Selena Miriam, hello. Yes, I have a question. You mentioned that we are going to talk about the last product we create. I remember... Uh, that, uh, that yet. Not... not yet. Ah, okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Sí, that no, way. ahorita solo vamos a entender el concepto del blinded test, el blind test, debería decir blinded test, y le explicarlo en la clase, o sea, qué es el blind test, cómo se lleva a cabo. That's it. In Just our that's... case, the one that is for us is per comparison test. It's very similar. Huh? It's a comparison test, but no brands. Okay, perfect. Yes. Very simple. Okay, and now I got it. I was con just concerned about, but now. Mm -hmm. No, just make sure that Miriam understands as well. Okay. You both have to explain it, okay? Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about this? I understood that uh, this is like is you take a product and you give the product to for example four person for people for people, mm -hmm. for people. and these people uh, they test the product by him by their self by themselves uh, uh -huh. by themselves and then they compare what they what they understood or what they how they feel okay. the product, their their uh, review, their review of the product. Uh -huh. Now there's a very yeah. important uh, word in this concept, isolation. Also, uh, yeah, isolation. Mm -hmm. But then they, and they and compare. this is this is opposite to a comparison test. Yeah, this is opposed to a comparison test where two or more products concepts are shown next to each other and compared by research participants. So here you don't have, in theory, you don't have something to compare it with. It's uh -huh. isolated. Puede ser que solo pruebes un producto y la otra persona pruebe el otro, and that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Isolated. But, but then they don't need to compare with others, only 
just give their opinion about one product and that's it. Just one product. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's right, that's a monadic. That's why it comes from mono. Mon uh, mono. One. Mm -hmm. One, yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep going, then we have the sequential monadic test. Ha -ha. Which <laughs> may, may be very similar. Okay. Good job, good job. Okay. Thank you. This investigation of my sequential monadic test. Yeah. Monadic. It comes from mono one. Okay. The monadic test, you only taste one thing alone, isolated. Si probas one una cosa, no, solo en el monadic test, en, en el testo monadico, solo probas uno. Nada más. No tenés parámetros de comparación. En cambio con yeah. este, ajá. I have a question. Uh, uh, how do you compare? How you can rate it if you don't have to, you don't have a, a parameter, right? You just use it and use it another, another one and use it in, in a sequential uh, way, right? How can no. you? It doesn't say anything about tasting the same line of products. So you could be tasting a soda and then a shampoo. And oh, then... Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh -huh. it's got me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Right, they don't taste both products against each other, but it could be the same line of products as well. But or... it doesn't affect the result? No, in theory, in theory, it doesn't affect the result. Okay? okay, and yes, it does at the same time. Siempre, por lógica, el ser humano ya tenés, y si no lo tenías, si te, te dan a probar dos productos similares, vas a generar por lógica a pura psicología. Yeah, yeah. a preconception of what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, the, as you can say, if you don't test or you don't try at the same line of brand, for example, I test a soda, next I test a car. What? There's totally opposite things. Yeah, yeah. You, how can you rate it? Because you don't have a, I can say- But that, well, example, you know the general concept of a car. Do you have an idea of the general concept of a car and the general concept of a soda? So you have your own what? preconceptions. You have a general concept because you test another car before and you compare it, right? That's right. Even if you don't want I it, you marketing. will always compare it. Yes. I hate marketing. Oh, come on. It's very entertaining. <laughs> It, this is the this it sounds boring but for someone who does research and knows the market behavior and all that man this is amazing psychology is better <laughs> yes it does <laughs> okay el punto es entender todo esto este concepto cómo se lleva a cabo el test para que lo expliquen en la clase okay 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 okay, okay. keep going Okay, um, they almost have one. Of the first possible. Was one characteristic According to the project, they could be reduced the problem. A ver, explíqueme qué es lo que han entendido hasta ahorita. El séptimo, es que le falla mucho el audio, Johnny. Sí. Ok, number seven, está facilísimo uh -huh. esto, ¿eh? Sí, okay. en este caso esta prueba se realiza entre dos productos para saber cuál es la característica que más gusta de cada uno o de uno de los dos. Estábamos dando el ejemplo de en el supermercado, este, si nos dan a probar una salchicha con queso y la otra con chile, ¿cuál es la que más va a llamar la atención? Uh -huh. Entonces, si se da a los niños, obviamente los niños me imagino que van a escoger la de queso, ¿verdad? Si se da a los adultos, podría ser que les guste más el chile, pero todo depende en el lugar que se, que se, pero a eso en, se refiere. Sí, en el mercado uh -huh. en el que se pruebe, ajá, uh -huh. very good. Uh -huh. 
ahora bien, son productos similares. No puedo comparar dos productos que no son similares. Uh -huh. right. okay. Ajá, así es, por eso poníamos el ejemplo de las salchichas, porque son iguales, solo que traen algo que lo resalta cada uno. Ajá, que les diferencia, muy bien. Very good. Uh -huh. Ajá, Jenny. Tiene que escribir como realizar la misma función, tiene que ser los productos. Correct. <laughs> okay, very good. I think we got the idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see how the rest did. Let's go. Okie dokie, I think we're ready. Almost. I hope so. Ada and William. Okay. Jocelyn, Roberto. 20 seconds, 19 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here they come again. Y de nuevo, William y José. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go with group number one. Carolina, don't wait. Ada, no. Elvin, and William. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, teacher. Uh, Ada, Elvin, and William. Six and humbly tests. Okay, um, wait, wait. Necesito que todos presten atención, por favor, porque ahorita vamos a definir después de esto. Van a retomar su producto y definir ustedes mismos qué test, qué prueba sería la más conveniente para el producto que ustedes crearon. Si eran pupusas, si era el software, la aplicación, Beers. right? ¿Qué, ¿Qué más habían creado? Las paletas de... Beers, beers teacher. The shoes. beers, the shoes. Oh. Yeah, the, the lollipops Lollip with chili. Or... Product de online. De... ¿Alguien, hizo paletas, Alguien hizo paletas de chaparro, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh, so, good idea. <laughs> so, that was a great idea. So, ¿qué test se aplicaría mejor? So, uh, si no comprenden algo, los demás pregunten, ¿ok? Or make sure it is clear, ¿ok? And if it is not clear, say it in Spanish. We have to understand each one of the concepts, ¿ok? Let's go. All yours. And size and handle test. And my group is uh, the, the test considered as a good option and based on the visual and tactile experience, the customer and the, and the product on the launch. Yeah, because the customer has the option of C, the attributes, I don't know, is correct. Uh, and feeling them in a more direct way uh, and has more direct, direct experience with the product and draw conclusion, I don't know, is correct, to accept the, the product. Mm. William? William? <laughs> uh, with this test, the customer has the option of seeing, touching, smelling, seeing its shape, and being able to evaluate how convenient the product is. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so they can taste it, they can see it, they can smell it, they can read the specifications on the envelope, right? Okay, you can see what it contains, how it feels, right? Squish it, you can squish it, right? Everything. Okay. Yeah. Questions? Any questions? That was number one, okay. No questions. Let's go with number two. Fernando and Jose Antonio. 
Okay. Uh, just, just test. Uh, uh, that kind of test, uh, usually uh, the companies make a, a exclusive group to to give uh, for a, a period of, of time a, a, a product and the customers can bring to, to home that, that product to use uh, every day and they can do it wherever they want to do that, that product for a period of time. That is the case when the product is a physical product. Uh, uh, there are some products that are services, uh, services, for example, uh, uh, Netflix, HBO, usually, mm -hmm. usually uh, use that kind of test when you, you they, they, they give to you uh, a month to try out. Try it for, out, to try it out. Uh, for try out uh, that product, uh, they, their product and if you can continue using that services, you can cancel when the demand uh, expires. Pass, expires. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that's it. Of course, you always forget to cancel and then you're subscribed automatically. So yes. <laughs> hey, yes, it's true. You can apply this on services, right? What do you think? Yeah, not just yes. products. Wow, that a lot Great. of products are, for example, uh, Microsoft. Did you install a, an application for Microsoft? Mm -hmm. They give to you a month, and when the month expires, they block uh, the uh, the, more, Service. uh, the services or characteristics in the the app. The but features, you can the features. features. Mm -hmm. You can continue using the that app, but. So if you can use all the, the features of the app, you can pay for it. Excellent. What do you think, Jose Antonio? Any second thoughts? Okay. And for example, for example um, this, this, this case, this case of oh, oh, this, this test? The, te the test, uh, the 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 consumer in use test is a, a tool tool to e evaluate evaluate the the per per. Performance? performance, performance, performance of products. Of the product. Um, for example, Fernando say, and Microsoft, and in, in the in, in the mom, in the mom, the how do you say, lanzar? Launch. Launch the um, um, window, window seven. To evaluate, to evaluate for a, a month, a month. To evaluate it for a month, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, same thing, right? You, you're given some time to take it home, taste it, see how it works. Do you think they use this test a lot, guys? Many companies use this test? Yeah, they do. On regular families, right? Okay, any questions, any opinions, second thoughts? No? Okay, let's go with number three, Carolina, Rene, and Sandra. The breath test is a simple checking that will allow us to, to check the most important aspect of our realm before implementing it a point of constant. It is simpler, simply the list of points to measure before sending the part directly to production. To production. Production. 
Okay, so they taste the brand more than the product. I mean, yeah. So some, uh, so if I don't like the brand, mm, 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 I don't know. Uh huh. Someone else from the group. So, uh, for example, uh, even when obtain obtaining the results, uh, the consumers know the, about the about the brand, uh, and the results uh, is is for to know how how is the position uh, in the mind of the consumer. Uh, the polarization of the brand, uh, the, even the corporate image, 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 uh, image uh, preferential uh, taste and preference consumers. It's like a comparison, the brand and internal and external perspective. Like Coca Cola, the consumers know uh, the value of the brand. Um, very well and relate and related to characteristics work. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so true. Everybody compares uh, every other soda with Coca Cola product mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or analysis of the perception of the brand, uh, analysis of the company or for us or what? Mm -hmm. or, or what? Um, uh, as a, I think what is the different aspect that we offer to consumers uh, analysis where we are and analysis where we want go on the mission and objective and it's a pretty following the part. Yep. Okay, that's totally right. Any other point of view or opinion about this one? The branded test, guys? No? Okay. Now, it's clear that you're testing a brand, right? Before you test the product, it's like you have the idea on your head that this is the brand that I'm testing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not tasting coffee, I'm tasting mahalo. I'm not tasting shampoo, I'm tasting a new line of head and shoulder and so on. Got it, very good. Thank you. Huh, medium was with who? Who was medium's couple? Me. Oh, Jocelyn, yeah. It's just that you went out of the group. Okay, okay, ready? Medium and Jocelyn, number four. Yes, the blind test. Okay, well, we were talking to Miriam about this test and this is a test in which the participant, unfortunately, as the name, they cannot see. But they cannot identify the product that they are testing and the brand. But in this case, the idea is to focus on the product characteristics may be more intensive that I can say. Mm -hmm. Yes, they just can identify by touching, smell, hear, and get the perception of the product. And we were talking to Miriam also an example that they can be a good test to try Coca-Cola and Pepsi. And, but in this case, it's just to focus on the product characteristics. Mm -hmm. That's the information we got. Excellent. Miriam, do you want to say something? Add something? No? Anybody else? What do you think about the blind test? Are we clear on that? I remember that uh, some publicity that I, I saw before so uh -huh. I saw before um, they they put como sería poner ejemplo they they gave the example of they get this the example uh, with this test uh, they uh, comparing with two products but the customer don't didn't know don't not they didn't know what 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 is what como sería uh, yeah perfect 
the customer uh, consumer didn't know what was what. <laughs> and the the, cost, the customer confirmed that the, the product that that is the publicity is better without now. Without what? knowing, without knowing, uh huh. I without knowing what product is the for the publicity. Hmm. What product belong to the publicity? Very good. Yes, that's awesome. It's not that the the tester, the consumer, is physically blind. I don't know. I don't think they do that. But it's just blind refers to no brand. You don't know what you're tasting. Good job. Brand. It's just uh -huh, no brand. Yeah. No brand. Very good. Okay. And <clears throat> number five, Alexander and Claudia. Okay. Well, actually, this topic is new for me. But I was um, researching about it, and I found that a monadic test or monadic method is where you shall research participants one product or concept. In this case, it's product, product, and isolation. Uh, for me, th that is the keyword, is isolation, because uh, it's when you when you give a product to a person and or to, or to give the, the product to, for example, four people, um, it's, it's going to be like a realistic or in this case is more realistic because they take or their own, their own uh, perception of the product or decisions. It's like when you are going to, or it's like when you go to, to the supermarket or different shops in order to, to buy or purchase your, your product and you decide by yourself, right? And because you are able to, to see the product and you decide, hey, this product is good for me and I'm going to buy it, right? I believe that this is the key for this uh, method. Isolated, uh, isolated. Mm -hmm. Isolated, okay. Okay. Uh, for me, the I think the monadic mental is the definition is evaluation is where two or more products or ideas are it evaluate their one they own one after the others. Uh, it's a like consequence or it's not routine it's just a consequence a sequence sequence mm -hmm. uh in usually rot rotate rot rotative rotative to mm -hmm. to uh rotate to menus or the orders for example i i don't have exactly the information about this uh Topic, but this is that I um, what what you understood. Mm -hmm. Yes, that I understood. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I, um, I think William said something very important, and uh, the isolation of the product, because remember, you are not. I mean, as a marketer, um, you don't want the consumer, when testing a product, to have uh, a comparison parameter. Mm -hmm. The more the more you take away any previous comparison parameter from the tester, from the consumer, the better, because you will have a better idea. Okay, do you like the taste? Um, have you ever tried something like that? You cannot ask, have you ever tried something like that because it's a new product, mm -hmm. okay? So yeah. That's the whole idea. Isolate the product from any other comparison mm -hmm. um, or uh, just taste the product by itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are occasions when you as a tester, you go to taste a new product or test a new product in just that one product. Maybe one month later, you come back 
that is a whole different product. And I was talking to Alan and maybe you can uh, try one product. And Alan said, a car and a soda. Mm -hmm. You try a car, it's your own idea, right? Your own preconceptions, it's just one product. You try a soda, you have another conception of soda. So, and so on, but we will see that on the next one, which is the, um, sequential monadic method, which was, I think Alan was on that group. Yeah, Alan and Miguel. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander, Claudia, everybody. Okay. Our topic is sequential monadic method, right? Uh, this method is a use to test to two or more products. Uh, the people have mm -hmm. the opportunity to know the product fill it and rate it. Uh, the advantage of this type of test is that a short term, uh, short term results are achieved and um, fewer people are surveyed. Uh, therefore, the investment of the company is less since the samples are also smaller, for example. Uh, for example, in, in, I don't know if it's say it's correct, in an entrepreneur fail? In, in an entrepreneurship. 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 Uh, the people come and try several products or different products at the same time. And, and they give their opinion. Many companies are benefit at the same time using this method. For example, the example you say soda and cars. But... I can say the, the opinion for two products or for different products at the same time. And the benefit is the all companies. It's for whole, the whole, it's for all companies, that's right. Yeah. I can give my opinion. I can give I or can I can give my, give my opinion. opinion. Uh-huh. Yeah. Say your opinion. Okay. What do you think, Alan? Uh, well, in my own word, uh, the definition of this matter it don't, doesn't have to be like uh, you have a comparison to the same brand, for example. It's your, uh, your knowledge about the product even doesn't mean that you have a lot of uh, uh, knowledge about the product, right? It's just compare um, different products and doesn't mean to to uh, to compare again to each other, just give your opinion. And even though it's, uh, you don't have to use it before, you feel it and you like it. Well, you rate it. It doesn't have that's to. It. That's the whole idea. That's the whole idea. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Sequential, okay, monadic test. You can try different products, even if they don't belong to the same line of business. That's the idea. Very good. Good, good, good. Questions? Nobody's making questions. Everybody's falling asleep. Nobody's paying attention. Are you paying attention? Because you're about to apply this to a product. So we have Johnny and Rina and Roberto. On the last one, which is very interesting as well. Go ahead. Okay. The Peter comparisons test. It is used to find out which characteristic is the one that attract, attracts attention, comparing the product with uh, different characteristics. For example, example, in the supermarket, it is giving, it is giving to try the margarita with liqueur, and margarita with a liquor. A liquor, liquor, uh huh? Liquor. Okay. Um, um, it, it is. Um, it is. <laughs> I think. Okay. Johnny? Hey, uh, the main characteristic is this. Test is compared to product. I think a product with the um, 
same characteristic or or the same production the same product line mm -hmm. the plan yeah, the same product line and with the jetty to know the on what character those those products hold the attention of the marker mm -hmm. because um, depending the kind of marker uh, holds attention for example old people and young people they oh you mean the need the niche of market huh what what sector yeah what segment the, that's called listen guys that's called the segment of the market because the market is segmented, you know, and children, teenagers, and et cetera, as we, we talked before. Good job. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's comparing. Now, you can only compare two things that are equal, you know, or very similar, right? And that's a good point. Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. We only have seven minutes seven minutes to discuss <clears throat> in group about your different products, okay? Who remembers its product? Who remembers its product? Fernando knows his product, he has an app. Yoni, what were you doing with your team? App. The app too, you were with Fernando. Okay, Alan. Oh, what was uh Remember. You don't remember, really? No, because there is a lot of, of products that we design, like uh, no, but there uh, was one liquor. main. Oh, uh -huh, that liquor was one of the them. Liquor lollipops. Yeah, that, that was uh, a good idea. I don't know why you let it go. The cheater, the cheater GPS, crazy things. Oh, the cheater GPS. Yeah, but she's not here today. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't come today. <laughs> okay, Carolina, do you remember your product? Mm, I uh, with Alan the the, the lollipop. Yes, the and an app. And the app with Fernando. Okay. Uh, I don't remember when. <laughs> okay. With, with Johnny and, and Alan. I okay, jo Jocelyn. What about you? Do you remember your product? I was not at that in that class. What really? But we have used it many times, Claudia, Rina. Mm. Okay, you know what? Let's get split it. Just talk about what will you implement? What will be your idea of a product? Really easy, something easy, as I did, as I did before splitting you before talking about soap. What could be included in soap? You know that you can add many things, even milk. You can put milk on soap for your face. That's it's crazy. I mean, there are so many products, okay, that you can use aloe vera, so many things, okay? So let's just talk. What will be the right test for what product? For example, let's make an example. If I want to test, <laughs> if I want to test a pencil, if I want to test a pencil, what do you think will be the best method to try it? Mm -hmm. Comparation tips. Comparison with other pencils. Seek and handle test. Sight. Uh -huh. yes. Sight and Sight handle. And what about the use? Just to the use test. There are many tests you can perform this kind of product, right? Okay. So think about it. Just grab a product that you have around you and tell your classmates, I think this is the best test for this product, okay? We only have five minutes, okay? Five, six minutes to do this exercise. And tomorrow we're gonna practice even more, go deeper on this topic is very interesting. Okay, let me recreate the products. I mean the groups, just for a minute. Okay, just have a conversation. What tests are better for which products? Let's go. <clears throat> Hi guys. How are you guys? 
Uh, I was not in class, but I try, I understand later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you remember what 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 is your product? Um, another group. Alvin, Rene, and Reina. Do you remember this class? For me, uh, with me, William, remember the, the app and remember to uh, evaluate uh, a pill center. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? to produce the app. It's a, it's, a new, it's a new product, and yeah, for me the app is is okay, but I don't know uh, your product. Okay, and what what does the what is the product? And we talk, we talk, we talk. Um. Let's make this more dynamic. Grab anything, grab anything you have around you. Whatever you oh. have around you, just show it. How do you taste? How do they taste water bottles? The water bottles, not the water. Well, maybe yeah. the water too, right? But the bottle. Why the, the design on the bottle? I mean, does it have to do with something? What test will you use? A fan, Claudia. I hate that fan. It's too much noise. Right? <laughs> right. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Hello. Okay. Uh -huh. Think about it. Okay. Para ponérselo what? a los esposos infieles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. And how do you test that? This idea is Isela. Yes. That's Isela's yeah. idea. But how, yeah. think, think, how do you test that? Okay. Un better than lollipop liquor. Or the Samita Pacha, how do you say at the beginning? Okay. Okay, would you hire a group of men or women to test the GPS? <laughs> men, teacher, men. The woman, the men, men are more toxic. No, no, it's going to be the same number of the person say, that yeah. Because, yeah. as you know, we are uh, like, more jealous. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be. Oh, yeah. okay, no. Well, uh, which of the tests for me um, the use test? Definitely, yeah. They use it, yeah. We could get, uh, for example, Miguel and Ada and shoot them with the GPS on her arms and their arms, and <laughs> we can <laughs> check the result at the end of the week, maybe or. See if they <laughs> see if they get if they get lost on the triangle, right? Yeah. <laughs> Miguel looks like uh, mm, suspicious. I, I don't I don't like this problem, man. <laughs> me, me too, but me neither, me neither. Good. Me, me neither. <laughs> yeah, true. But the most incredible thing that is that Isela developed the product, designed the product and do everything and yeah. when we are going to pass to explain it she left <laughs> yeah it's a, i tell her i don't like i hate that idea but if you want to do it yeah 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 come on and we are I mean, going to pass what where, where is Isela? <laughs> <laughs> come on let's explain it oh i say i hate that let's poor, poor Isela, who's but not boyfriend <laughs> yeah man Better than yeah, others. that was cruel. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's good. see what the others think. We're almost done. Okay. Uh. It's been a long day without you, my friend. 
I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Okay, so how can you test a lamp? Mm, you can sight and you, handle. Yeah, you can use it uh, all day, and you can mm. test the how how, durability. how much durability has, for example. How much durability? How much durable it is. Ah, okay. How much? Uh, yeah, there are different ways of saying that. Yeah, yeah you Perfect. can turn off the turn off uh, many times. It... Actually, they do that. They do that with robots. Uh, use this. Yep. I think the use test is like the most common. You can, oh, yeah. how, you, how do you say? You can measure the the intensity of the light. Lumens. In co lumens and compare it with uh, Compa other compare other it, lamps. Compare, compare, it, it, compare it with other lamps. Uh, lamps in the market. Yeah, there's always a way to compare things unless it's just there's no new products nowadays. Nobody's inventing new products, right? Everything that you can think of is already there. Even movies. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know what else to do anymore. <laughs> Bien, chicos. Okay, hemos llegado al final. Yo tengo una teoría con eso, super rápido, de que ya llegamos al tope de nuestra creatividad en la humanidad y y esto pasó hace tres mil años igual. Llegamos al final de nuestra creatividad y se revolvió a iniciar todo. <laughs> Is Sister missing something? Huh? Is missing something? Necesitamos uh, big bang otra vez. Cars can can fly. Oh no, that's it's already like that's fly. in. Yes, so yeah, they, in, they in did China, it. Right? Or, no, know. in the states, there's a guy who invented uh, a flying mo a vehicle, but with like drones, like big fans. You know, shh, and he's flying. That's it. It's crazy. I need to look man. for that. <laughs> yeah, look for it. Look for it. Yeah, it's very amazing. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance, and I'm staying with Fernando tonight. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Night. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Fátima y Fejenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Good night. Bye. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yaneta Maya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Yo, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Good night. Miguel Present. Ángel Faz Landa Verde. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. And let me get some water. So what's up? Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So what have you been up to? Mm. How's the job doing? Uh, well, but I... I have my, I have a lot of work and if you if you remember I changed my my job mm -hmm. last month. So, yep. <laughs> uh, before I I I working in, uh, at home and I I I have to now I have to go to the office every day. Really? Yes. You were uh, working from home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and now you have to travel every day. 
every day, every day. What's your schedule now? Uh, my schedule is uh, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday to Thursday. And on Fridays, I I have the, the schedule from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, short day. You have a short day. Yes, well, sometimes I, I have to, I had to work an hour more because one more hour I, you have to work one, one more hour, hour because I, I have to to finish a, a task or mm -hmm. and um what about weekends no no I, I i don't i don't work on weekends do you work for a call center no no it's just a the, the, in the, the company there is a call center for customer services really but yes, the, Mainly, what do you do? Programming? Yes, I develop new feature for uh, in, in my in a company. There are three apps, and I de I develop I develop features for that for that apps. Huh. Hmm. Oh no, no. Okay, yeah. I, I was just googling. Okay, so you develop apps, huh? Yes, actually, I, I am working in a service a model for the for their their apps, and they the they they going to give to the customers for the, 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 the services to, to do service for their customers because uh, the, the company sells the services to the companies to use the app. So, says, so what does our the app, customer what have? Does, what does the app do? In the app, do, the, the app uh, it was made for, for con inventory control, uh, invoices, factory invoices. Invoices. The, the invoices uh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, uh, this is an transport. What is it? Su uh, supply. Uh, no, 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 from... no, no, no. That's uh, wait. Logistics. Yes. It does yes. logistics, human resources, payroll, inventory, uh, pay accounting. Payroll, no. It's, Not it's... payroll. No payroll. No, uh, it's more the for for inventory control. Uh, Sales, 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 uh, man, uh, man, transport, payroll is, payroll is easier. Yeah, but the, the payroll, the, the it's, payroll not included. it's not included. It's not included in the apps. The, the, uh -huh. We have the uh, CMS content manager that uh, that was made in web, in a web, in a web application. That that's lighter, right? HTML is lighter. Uh, HTML, HTML, H HTML. That is a that it's, is an a that is an a, a programming an language. It's no. not a programming language. No, that is a market market language. Oh, okay. But you can create pages where yes. you can work with. For example, the culture where I work for uh, that I work for. It's a website where we work basically it's all in HTML. You know, you yeah. receive the calls, you transfer the calls and everything through the website. And um, the, that you see in that website is only the view. In backend, you the, that is, is that is, is an mask. H, H, is yes, the mask. Yes. In backend, that is an uh, HTML. HTML. Uh -huh. Backend. There is a, another language that do the process. I know. In 2005, 2007, I worked for US Airways for an airline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we started with Amadeus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was like, that was like programming, man. To, you needed to use the asterisk, enter, and pleca, and something to, to get to mm -hmm. book, to book a flight. But then, it's like a, uh -huh. but then they came up with the mask. And then you used to use the F, the function keys, you know, F5, mm -hmm. book a flight, F8. And the funny oh. thing, the funny thing is that you used to press F6 and see the whole line of characters, of characters moving across. That, that, I understand that is a, 
uh, AS400, AS uh, AS400, es como, es la interfaz de AS400, como la pizza. Ajá, exacto. Now, um, mm -hmm. do you know about this um, SQ? What is SQL. it? Uh -huh, SQL. Uh, SQL. That is, uh, is, that, is that uh, the most common? Uh, that is a standard in database. Database. Do you like to work yes. with database? Yes, in our area, we have to know about a little bit of uh, other branches, or not, not only that I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they were needing someone in the call center. For, for that, just that, that was the only requirement to know about SQL. Yes, program, that, that program. is a, the DB administrator, I think. Can you work for more than one company? Uh, the, uh, in, ¿cómo se puede decir? I, I, I don't have to do because I signed a, a contract that, ah, this uh, of question. exclusivity. Yes. yes, exclusivity, uh, this no but, disclosement agreement. Yes, yeah. that, that contract uh, tied you had, up. Had ten, ten pages. Ten pages. <laughs> with all, all the clauses that I can do that when I working with, with their, with they. Oh <laughs> my God, that's crazy. Did you read everything? Yes, I, I read. I, you can even I, go. You can even go to jail. Yes, yes. Very and we can. ¿Cómo podría multarme? You can get a fine. Yes, you can uh, get a I fine. I can get a fine for twenty-five thousand of dollars. Twenty-five. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Yes, twenty-five thousand dollars. It's crazy. Okay. And well, uh, that's so unfortunate. So you cannot work as an independent. Uh, it's very difficult because uh, we need the companies for uh, develop our abilities. And uh, the companies in El Salvador, uh, they see um, the name of the company more than the, the resource, the of human course. resource. They have to take care of their branding. Yes. It's uh, it's, 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 you, if you don't uh, work for a, an, uh, how do you say, know it company? Conocida company? Con, a con, known con, company for a known, a known company? Yeah, they they don't see you. So we have to, to grow you up. You, uh, you, you don't exist. <laughs> yes. I got your point. Hey, good to know. Hey, you can express yourself. I like it, Fernando. Very good. Si seguía así, practicando super bien. No, no sí, me, me trago un montón porque es vocabulario. Yo quiero decir las cosas, lo tengo en español aquí, pero no me acuerdo cómo decirlo en inglés y me pasa un montón. But you're doing it. Se está expresando súper bien, ¿ok? So keep practicing. Gotta go. Ok, gracias. Good night. Buenas noches.